I don't know what time it is. Probably like 6.20. I'm going to try to get out of here at 7.30. I have 13.3 miles to get to Dalton. Probably, I can, I, honestly, I can choose less or more because essentially you're just walking through the ginormous town of Dalton. Eventually, I'm not going to do the big road walk. I think it's like uh, 23, 28 miles of a road walk to get through Dalton and other cities. I'll be doing that when I come back. But um, I have around 13.3 miles to, to like where I think I'm gonna stop. And then an amazing trail angel is going to pick me up and let me stay at her house. Just too nice, honestly. I am not excited about the hike just because last night the rest that I walked was so full of spider webs. I mean like, it's like, it's hard to explain because it just sounds like I'm being whiny. It's like sp spider webs every, every like 10 seconds and you're just getting it in your face and you get rid of the spider web one moment and then you walk the next and you try to use your trekking poles and they're the ginormous spiders that are super like creepy and mm, I'm just happy that I'm not as I used to be which was frightened, deathly frightened of spiders. But now I'm just like creepy crawlers on my neck. Anyway, I'm just going to drink my coffee and be positive and enjoy and pretend like it's gonna be an easy walk. It's 7.20, 13.3 miles to make it out of out of the um the spider spider hell <laughs> like literally okay um there is a little water down this way so i'm gonna get that first and i'm gonna eat my um honey bun but i probably should be concentrating on the spider webs because this area in particular was full of everything so with my light it's easier to see these spider webs see it? This is literally what you walk into. If you don't have a light that shines on it. You all see this guy? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so here's something crazy. I just went to dig a cow. Look at all this woods everywhere, right? Like, and exactly, exactly the spot I dug a cat hole. An old Pinho design. What? There are so many trees, and I went off trail, like <laughs> exactly where I dug it. This. Okay, I'm gonna take it with me basically because, I mean, you know, it is plastic. I might keep it and like glue it together. But, um, you know, leaving the plastic doesn't really, isn't really uh, beneficial for this beautiful nature. But I mean, like, really? Sorry. It seems like the Pinhoti has been the trail of singing. There's actually a song that I had I had rewritten the lyrics and uh, I was like, well, might as well sing it to y'all right now. Wow, that is so pretty. Hold on. The 
the song that I redid the words to is Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend by Marilyn Monroe. And here it goes. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but hiking is a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but it won't heal the mental health and not your heart. Cause joy shan't be an afterthought. Time moves on and youth is gone. Before you know, it'll come to an end. So strap on your backpack, cause a girl's gonna love that. Hiking is a girl's best friend. I have about 3.3 miles left to where the Dalton Road Walk starts and then, I don't remember, I think another two and a half or something to where I think I'm gonna go. Well, honestly, I'm just gonna walk into Dalton and if, see if there's something tasty where I could stop at and then wait for the trail angel. Um, I know today is my last day hiking the Pinhoti for for now I will have about 64 65 miles to make up and I will connect that with the Benton Mackay I think it's 70 some I never know so I'll always say 80 so I'll be hiking around 140 miles pretty soon um I know this isn't over with regard to the Ben Penhody, but I did want to say that having done this trail really, really helped me. I was able to really process a whole lot of stuff. I am not done processing it, but you know, I never really felt lonely, meaning I never felt like I needed people around. I, you know, got that from and honey fast or when I went to the hostels so that was good but on trail I kind of was very happy to be alone camping oh uh, man two three years ago it would have frightened me to be by myself I'm so happy that I am past that I'm telling you a lot of it has to do with the people I surrounded myself with on the PCT um, I don't know, they really changed me or that, that whole trail changed me. But anyway, the Pinhodi was so good to me. It really was necessary for me to be here. I'm sure I would have been able to process stuff the same had I been not on trail. But man, what a great opportunity to, having been able to do this on the trail. I'm glad to come back when it's colder. People said when it gets colder, spiders leave, but also uh, the hiking season for the Pinhoti starts soon. So hopefully everybody else will be doing the silk blazing for me. And then I can actually enjoy, enjoy the beauty of the trail. I'm so happy I got to do this. I'm so happy for the hiking community. I'm happy for y'all. I'm thankful for y'all. I'm thankful for everything that is being placed before me, whether good or perceived as bad. I feel everything happens for a reason. And even the things that make us struggle make us better people. So I'm thankful for that. 
anyway, I'm excited to get out of the spider extravaganza for sure. It's like the AT. Okay, I have 3.2 miles to the mile marker of Dalton. And apparently some dogs that I need to deal with again. Uh, <clears throat> normally I'm not really uh, worried about dogs. I love dogs. Uh, I've owned pit bulls as well as uh, boxers all my life. I don't own any now. But uh, I know, I know pit bulls. And there was a remark that there were three, three pitties that were charging. Now, pit bulls are, are good dogs, they really are, but they're very protective. And if the dogs were charging, that is not a good sign of the owners. So I am a little intimidated by that comment, just because I know how pit bulls are when they don't have the right way of being or having been raised and you know some of them have uh, that that gene inside of just wanting to protect and attack so I am a little bit weary and this is coming from a pit bull owner so guys please I've had them I love them I think they're good dogs but I also know what they're capable of pivotal moment of road walking. This is where I believe uh, 28, I need to look again, but it's over 20 some miles of road walking. And now what I'm doing is I'm walking into town, downhill. And uh, yeah, no, not much of a shoulder, that's for sure and supposedly some dogs I need to deal with. But honestly, this is a busy road. I can't imagine the dogs coming out to this. They'd be hit by a car. cabin <laughs> and this amazing trail angel named Susan uh, also known as sidekick and her amazing husband random man um, let me stay here and did amazing dinner and picked me up and uh, just so amazing thank you so much to the both of you this has been a really great way to end this part of the Pinhoti. And uh, yeah, so this is the end of this section and I shall return, promise. Mm -hmm.